overall web accuracy is determined by examining the web itself, the guide that is being used, and the way that the guide is installed. Regardless of how it is installed, any web guide has a limit on its ability to correct in a lateral direction. This limit exists both in time and space. In other words, a web guide can only laterally shift material a finite distance. Also, any shift takes some amount of time to occur, no matter how small that time is. Errors in your web are defined as any lateral movement of the material that is unwanted. There are several types of errors. Offset errors, which are also known as steady state errors, step change errors, and transient errors. An offset or steady state error means that your material can be shifted in either direction, but will tend to take on a fixed amount of shift during your run. A step change error occurs when there is an immediate shift in the edge of the material, as when a splice occurs where the edge is not aligned. A transient error means that your material wanders from side to side. Given all of this, a web guide can be used to minimize these errors. The accuracy of your web can then be stated as the maximum amount of error that passes through the web guide after it has performed its corrective maneuvers. In a closed loop proportional control system, the sensor detects the error and outputs a signal to the controller. The controller then calculates a correction signal and sends this to the actuator. The actuator then provides the appropriate correction velocity in the opposite direction of the error. The way to determine the accuracy of a web guide is to determine the collective gain of the web guide system. The overall accuracy is calculated by multiplying the sensor gain by the controller gain by the actuator gain. This is another way of saying that the more accurate the sensor and the more response of the controller, and the quicker the action of the actuator, the higher the overall accuracy. In addition to the ability of the system to detect and respond to errors, another consideration is the thrust capacity of the actuator. Just because an actuator knows it has to move quickly doesn't mean that it can. It takes more thrust for an actuator to shift a heavier material than it will for a lighter material. Your system needs to be sized and calibrated for the material being processed. There are other factors that are involved in the design of a web guide system for accuracy. These include the bandwidth of the system and the ability to respond to high frequency errors. Overall, a final number can be calculated, such as plus or minus 0.003 inches. Determining a number such as this with confidence is a factor of how well the physics of your web are considered and how well the equipment chosen can accommodate the variety of factors that lead to error. Contact Fife for more complete information about understanding web guide accuracy.